It's the Daily Dog. Hey y'all, welcome back to the Daily Dog. Thanks for hanging out with me today on a Friday at the end of the week. Y'all, we have deserved this. It's a Friday, it's a Masterpiece Friday, and I've got new music for you today. A new group to the channel, and the group is King Gizzard and the Lizard Wizard, one of my favorite names of a band that I think I've ever heard. And the song from them <laughs> that we're going to do today is The Dripping Tap. Now, I have not heard anything from this band. This is a first time listen to any music from this band. They are from Australia. And uh, th this is how it works, y'all. Let me first say this. Uh, I get emails all the time. Uh, people saying, uh, love your work. Uh, I've got this song or this band that I love that you've got to check out. And of course, I, I uh, enjoy getting these uh, from people all around the world because it's, it's, it's great to know what people love. But I have no idea just how many listeners and supporters of these bands are uh, reflected uh, or represented uh, when I get an email like this, somebody sends in an email that says, this is a band that you've never heard of. Well, it's difficult to put a band like that on a channel like mine because I'm trying to, to reach as many people as possible, obviously, and I want to do it with good music. So uh, over on our Discord, as part of our Patreon community, we have a music club. And so people there can say, hey, uh, this is a band that I love. Uh, I'm going to present some music uh, from this band, and I'm going to do it on this day and show up, we'll have a good time. And so other members of the community show up and they listen, they talk about it, they go back and forth. And members of the, of the community are like, yeah, this is great. This is great. Doug's going to love this. And so they put it in our recommendations uh, section and everybody upvotes it. And they're like, yes, we buy in. Doug, you need to do this on the channel. And so I accepted this song uh, to go on our active master list, which is what I normally pick from for our uh, our upcoming episodes and it's been a few months since this was uh, added to that list and so <laughs> recently some of our patrons were like Doug um come on now dripping tap king gizzard it's time come on now so today is the day and I am happy to have you with me it's always great to listen to, to new music on this so uh, the dripping tap is the lead and the longest track from Omnium Gatherum, which uh, was released in March of this year. Uh, like I said, this band is from Australia, and even though they only formed in 2010, this album, Omnium Gatherum, is their 20th album. That is 20 albums in 12 years. That's, that's a lot of work. So they are known for exploring multiple genres, uh, with great live shows as well as their prolific uh, discography. And uh, so when I read in on this particular song, it is described as a prog jam, which makes me uh, interested in it. And it says that zigzags between kraut rock, thrash metal, stoned soul, neo soul, acid rock, and noise music. And I have heard of maybe a few of those terms. So I still don't even really know what it's gonna, what we're in for and what it's gonna sound like. But I am eager to, uh, to hear it with all of you. So we've got Ambrose Kenny Smith on vocals, organ, percussion, harmonica, and he is a co-writer. Michael Cavanaugh is on drums. Cook Craig and Joey Walker are on guitars and vocals. Lucas Harwood is on the bass, and Stu McKenzie is on vocals, guitar, bass, organ, and percussion, and he is also listed as a co-writer of the song. So let's get it, y'all. Uh, it's going to have be a fun time. It's a longer track. It's about 18 minutes, 18, 19 minutes, uh, but uh, we're going to have fun with it. Let's see what is up with King Gizzard and the Lizard Wizard as they perform the Dripping Tap. Here we go. And they're just going to play this live. Cool. Kind of reminds me of Florence and the Machine a little bit. The slow groove. Oh, 
Huh, fall from that key. They're going back and forth between D minor and F. There's a B flat to C. F to D. So, oh, and D minor. Cool, so back and forth between the relative major and relative minor of F and D. Driving sound. Turn major. Still over the That's subtonic. Pretty far into it, and I'm already got to catch my breath. There's a lot going on, even though the chord's pretty static. It's either an overdub. I don't think it's an overdub. I think both guitar players are playing and they're slightly out of tune which gives out a whole lot of color. Enjoying myself. Jamming. I love it. We're still over the same dawn chord. This goes to show you that you only need one chord for a whole long section. <laughs> suits in charge of the world and our futures hang on by a thread with our heads in the sand that's how it starts lyrically we have a break now where are they going to go from here Ah, not C sharp. 
Mixolydian. Pretty simple. Pretty simple melody. For the chorus. And it's still static over that D. Cool. Okay, back to this. Goes back to D minor for that little section. All right. No. I love jam band music, y'all. I'm a classical composer, so I love form, but I also love open-ended music with no rules. Like, here's a D chord, which is going to have some fun, y'all. I came of age, and my band, my jam band of choice was uh, Dave Matthews Band. You know, but uh, other folks have the Grateful Dead, they have Fish, King Gizzard, other similar... Uh, open-ended styles, you know, for these extended jams. And you can tell they're playing this down in the moment. It's great. Forget about the week, be in the moment, have a little drink, smoke them if you got them, enjoy yourself. solo, it's not doing a whole lot of, a lot of repeated notes, not a whole lot of big uh, jumps and big melody. In that instance, it almost reminds me of, from a folk tradition, like Celtic music, or, or ancient, like over static harmonies, just sounds that get us moving. And as I'm looking at it, we're about halfway through, y'all, so relax. It's going to be cool. I'm with you. Fun. These big, long sections I would kind of classify as just a D mixolydian. Sounds like D major with the F sharp in it, but with the C natural, a lowered, uh, lowered seven, almost consistently. Interestingly enough, when they do that one section that's in D minor, that's when you get the C sharps, hit the A major. 
I can see putting this on the radio in the car and uh, getting promptly stopped by the cops for speeding because your foot goes like that. Right on driving, y'all. They take time though to sort of they decrease the intensity of, of the arrangement to just go into this new little riff section. In my notes, all it says is instrumental. Repetition of this is listed, so it's on the tap, don't slip. And they're going to keep doing that based on what I'm saying. Pentatonic. That's all I'm doing. Works. Pretty cool. You know, if you, if you repeat something uh, often enough, people will catch on. give the rhythm section credit, they keep staying right on top of that beat. They push it, and they push it, and they push it, and it doesn't feel like they're really rushing the beat. in there that's what the, that, that's what I should have been asked to play King Gizzard I can, I can play the gong it's still right in D isn't it Everybody's on the floor. Everybody's on the same orbit when they get old and moronic. Get complacent and get bored that trip trip on the floor, don't get drowned. 
I interpret that as don't get caught up in the noise of distractions in life. Try to recognize what's the important stuff and what are the distractions. You know? The, um, the dripping tapped in is a metaphor for the flow of life. Nice! It's just gonna keep on dripping. Right? Drip, drip, drip. Flow of life continues on whether we want it to or not. Right? Just don't get caught up in the noise. Don't slip on that drip. progression in this section. It sounds like a completely different song though. It just happens to be in the same general key. Well, we made it to the end. I'm a little glassier eyed than when I started, but I made it to the end. That was fun. You know, we do a lot of these songs and they're heavy or they're on, uh, you know, really tough uh, personal things or they're about, you know, struggles or persevering or, or all of these things. Sometimes, my friends, we just need to let our hair down. For me, I put my hair under my cap. <laughs> And, and just tune out the world for half an hour and listen and, and do your thing, you know? I think the entire point here of a song like this is to remind us to try to just be carefree and enjoy ourselves as much as we can, even in the midst of the ongoing dripping tap, right? It's not going away. That tap's going to stay there and it's going to drip. And, you know, uh, so maybe it's just to en engage with it, uh, uh, but with caution, right? Uh, when, when you need to, uh, but in general, just don't slip on that surface. Uh, you know, just, you know, let your hair down and don't take yourself too seriously and try to be a kid at heart sometimes. Uh, there are times when, I mean, I love doing these videos, y'all. There are times though, when even doing something you love, uh, can feel like a burden, you know, but, uh, most of the time it's not like that. And when I start to feel like that, I start to think about the big picture and about all that's gone on and about all the support that, uh, has been, uh, directed in our way and and I'm so thankful for all of you for watching these videos and sharing in this journey with me It really is a journey y'all. Uh, I I got into music in high school I was on a, a path of sports and it kind of veered towards Towards music and as I got into it, I mean, I don't come from a real musical family So we didn't have a whole lot of records playing in the background that I knew a whole lot of these songs that were existing So when I started really getting into music I was getting into it via the classical realm because that's how I was being taught 
And then over the years, I just never had a chance to listen to a whole bunch of this stuff. And during the pandemic, I, I lose my my teaching gig at the college. And and so I start the Daily Doug and uh, and we get into listening to music that uh, I've never listened to metal and prog and and a whole bunch of uh, these bands like that I've never heard of. And it's just been so rewarding. And uh, I count today as a day like that. Uh, how rewarding is it to have a community that uh, comes to a person like me and says, we really think that you will enjoy this. And they know me. You know, we hang out together. And they're right. I love that. That was so much fun. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, you know, there maybe isn't a whole lot uh, of oh psychology that's in that maybe I'm reading a little bit too much into it, but I, at its, at its core, I think it's just the tap is there. It's keep, uh, it's going to keep on dripping. Nobody's going to stop it from dripping. Know that it's there. Just don't slip, right? Do your thing. Um, and what a great message, especially on a Friday. So have fun y'all this weekend. That's all for us this week. We'll be back next week with more episodes. I am so thankful for all of your support and for you watching. We'll see you next time on another edition of the Daily Doug.